Oh, it's a little there awkward. It it's a little down awkward. There. No one's down talking. Down there. Oh, Open it up. This is Open not it up. This is not Click a the game. Game. How, well, how is that my fault? Oh. It's not your fault. I'm just telling you to click the How is that my fault? Fault. I'm well, not welcome saying it's to the your revered fault. cloaca, everybody. Here we go. I gotta press it with my hands. <laughs> this kind of looks like Maple Story. I'm getting a little excited. <laughs> okay. Okay, this so would not be my reaction to this, this looks is, like Maple Story, but go on. It does look like Maple Story. Just the title screen. <sighs> this is the game I played. I never played Klonoa One. I only played Klonoa Two. We'll play Klonoa One because I've never well, played either of them. Yeah, I heard it was play super with your good. Cloaca, Corey. All right, let's play Cloaca. Go one. on. Go on. Fantasy then. Revere. This looks like. Crap. I'm done playing already. Garb. This looks like. <laughs> Say it. Shiny, cool stuff. We're gonna play on normal. Oh. Huh. Wind bullets fly the same as an original. Wind bullet. Like, yeah, I don't. I wanna play on normal. I'm yeah, sorry, wind it might bullets be a little must hard. fly the same as in the Wait, original. Wait, hold on. You can oh. speed up the cutscene. Corey, talk. Do it, do it, do it. Speed it up. It's strange. It's strange. There you go. Sometimes I know I've had a dream, but I just can't remember it. This is very Kingdom Heartsy. It's gonna reveal at the end Where that these Cloaca go? was uh, Martin Luther <laughs> King the whole time. I'm never gonna remember his name as Klonoa because he keeps saying dream? fucking Cloaca. You guys, but I do dream. You're missing the story and it's pissing me off. I don't remember the story. I never played it. That's a huge fucking butterfly. Not really. It's just. Okay. I mean, it is compared to you. It looks pretty normal. <laughs> he looks like an animaniac. And this is when he was little. He kind of does. Uh, it's a bit pixely in it. Is it? Um, it looks pretty good. This has to be. This was on the Wii, right? This version. I don't know. I, I never. Feel like I was never a played Klonoa one. one. I there probably was. Klonoa is one of those games that are like, I'm glad it's it's out. I hope it got sales because I do really like Klonoa. But oh, look at the. There's like the seams. The art, you see that? It looks like stars are in his skin. It's weird. He's got the retractable Donkey Kong teeth. It's freaky. It's like a chow without its limbs. Aw. It's the start of a blossoming friendship. Guess they're friends. I don't want to skip your this. I ring out the floor and don't now I it. love you. I don't want to, but I kind of do don't. because I hate cutscenes. Shut up, Corey, and enjoy it. <laughs> it's... Chris, have you ever played Klonoa? Klonoa? I just said no, you fucking... Say it. Go ahead, say it. I'm on the blast. Go ahead, say it. Utter... <laughs> <laughs> Utter sensor, that's it. Nobody knows what he said. <laughs> He looks weird. I feel like Klonoa didn't look like that. He's way more dog-like. He did look like that. No, his eyes. Like, it's freaky. He had, like, this, like, cutesy face. He had goat eyes, as far as I recall. Yeah, he did. Those backward slits. It was weird. Okay. Time to this play is the game. This 9-11. Okay. 9-11 the video game. <laughs> That wasn't 9-11. Well, I guess it was 9-11. That it was, is what happened in 9-11. It was the 9-11 plane that, like, crashed in the field, maybe, but not, like, any of the main crashed ones. Crashed in the GameCube fields, yeah. not the towers. <laughs> Sounds like something crashed. Just, just, this is my dream. Let's go take like a look, sense. Klonoa. If they're having blossom friendships, then how come I didn't see any of it? Stop! Don't worry. The you can play with two players! Me. That's you can join forces mode. on this adventure! It's not gonna be two Klonoas. Yeah. It's gonna be a Klonoa and a fucking oh, balloon. Fuck that. Yeah, support. support jump. Screw that. Don't do that. <sighs> Excuse me. Wait, Corey, go to the menu and see if you can turn up the graphics. Turn up the graphics? Yeah, turn it up. Crank it up. Okay, we're Aliasing. good. Aliasing. Turn off boom. Turn what? off bloom. Hey, not a bad idea. Bloom, very fucking high. Hate I actually bloom. fucking hate bloom too, Corey. You're bloom right. sucks. Yeah. You wanna know how you ruin ah! it? Ah! What the fuck is this? Looks like oh. the, it looks like when it came out of the pixel. That's actually it. sick. I yeah. guess that's what pixel filter that's, does. That's kinda cool. You honestly. wanna play with this? No, you fucking <laughs> But uh, I just think it's cool. They <laughs> the, game, that. the game sound effects yeah. is perfect. Bling, there you bling. go. Now he's all back to normal. Alright. Chris, huh? if you go. had a dream... I and, have a dream! Huh? Yeah. That's the point. So you throw enemies to get higher. Yeah. And you just, that's what you do. You just jump on them. Because Klonoa just said that he he dreamed that <laughs> that fucking plane crash would happen. Yeah. I didn't hear if that. You, if you dreamed that like a Klonoa's horrible game. tragedy happened, and then the next day it happened, would you feel guilty for not warning anybody? I think you would kind of have to, yeah. I would practice. But it's obviously not your fault, though, because it's so stupid. 
What? What? Stupid. That like, if you ran up to someone and said, "I had a dream that uh, this is gonna happen," and then if you went and warned people and then it happened, you'd be in trouble because they just think you orchestrated it. Yeah, you would probably be the first to be questioned. Yeah. Although I don't know how that exactly that would work because yeah, they would true. have evidence against you. I've well, thought no, they about wouldn't that. have any evidence yeah. against you at all. I would, I would assume that I orchestrated it and then like took like brain Stand rotting serum to make me forget about it. It would kind of it would kind of help Ooh. if you were like eight or something because yeah. I thought like if I could go Hold back on, into my eight year old body and stop 9/11. Right, yeah, no, yeah, we've thought about that before. I, I constantly think about being an eight-year-old that stops 9-11. <laughs> if you stop 9-11, everything would be different in the future. Might be worse in some ways. I... You know what? I can't get what? It. With how shit turned out, I'm, I'm willing to roll the dice. It turned out pretty bad. I hate I hate how airports are now. I, I had to go through security like three times in Ireland. Like three different sets of security. Dude, uh, airports well, are so fucking annoying. you need to stop trying to annoying. bring knives and stuff on. <laughs> I'm not doing that! It's because of 9-11, they're like, uh, you go through security, then you go through fucking, uh, customs, and they make you do it again. I uh, thought Ireland had the car bomb guy. You can't pin that on R-9-11 that you guys have. There was one car bomb oh, guy. You guys have yucky security. Here, up here. It's me. Uh, I don't know who that is, because I don't know anything about Klonoa 1. Old man. He's but just old I'm man. I'm your dad, and I'm here to beat you for not taking that, out the that garbage. That is what he looks like. Hey, kid. You shouldn't be sneaking around in here. <laughs> so sorry. His voice is kind of cute, isn't it? I'm building it so we can reach the moon kingdom. Wow! See, he's a construction worker. He's trying to build something so we can meet the diva. Okay? He doesn't know how space works, moron. <laughs> I fucked up. I should have hit that bubble back there because now I'm not going to get all the dog sprites. Get this fucking Corey. windmill out of my way. What? If you intend on 100%ing this game, I'm gonna get up off this couch and walk away right now. Yeah, Corey, same. This is not the I... kind of game you need to do that. I'm not 100%ing, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Where to go. Alright. There. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. Yeah, see, so you go here. This is a different path. Yeah, ah. and there's that guy. Yeah, Everyone's see, favorite I was character. Wrong. Yeah, you just collect all this stuff. This is you like stuff from Rayman. A swirl of Nike. Counterfeit. Right. So what I was fucking saying uh -huh. is I was saying that I was watching Curb Your Enthusiasm and they were doing an episode about Klonoa. No, maybe. <laughs> but no, they were doing an episode about uh it, it was like at the airport. He was at the airport. And, I saw that one. Yeah, and like the guy was like able to go through with his ticket. Yeah, which doesn't make any sense because like they would stop you immediately and ask for like your ID. Now I didn't. That's what I was thinking. So back then it didn't work like that. I guess it was different. I guess you could just have your ticket and be like, "This is me," and then you could just go through the fucking door. Yeah. All right, I missed out on everything. That's okay. You can press A to, su su to succeed. Proceed. I like watching all the bubbles pop. <laughs> Unlock the extra vision. The map will show the phantom millions you've rescued from nightmares. Save them all. <laughs> you've yes. rescued them from nightmares. Is that what you I'm are? I'm not is saving a them all. No, those are the guys playing the cello. Is Klonoa like a Springer Spaniel? He's a dog. What is he though? He's, He's got a cat bloodhound. Eyes. He's a tune. He's a bloodhound, isn't he? He's a tune. Isn't he a bloodhound? Fucks me every time. It's a very simple concept. Oh. You run and jump. I thought I could stand on the light, though. That sucks. It's not that simple. Corey, don't ever let the light within go out. The light in Corey's I, I eyes fades every day. I have to go around. Do you, not, do you not know about this game? Oh, okay. I never played I played the second one. Go for, down, dumbass. For someone who's never played it, you seem to, Chris. I've, I've seen a video about it. I need to grab this thing coming by. And it's emotional. Yeah. This. It's supposed to be, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's it. Mario so far. What do you What but do you it, want it, from it? Imagine if Mario had an actual stakes and a story. Yeah. Well, it doesn't. It's always the same. <laughs> yeah, I Bowser know. That's Peach. why I, I really don't care the for Mario. Real, really. The only real story is like fucking Bowser. But that's not the point of Mario. Though. If you want a real story, go to Newgrounds and watch the fucking Mario the Mario stories on there, where like <laughs> Mario shows up with a shotgun and blows Ugh. Bowser's head off in sprite form. Watch Mario Bros. Z. That's the game Nintendo should have made. True. Oh, Look, I'm not saying Mario should have a story. I'm saying that if it had a good story, you'd probably Chris, care about I what's going Klonoa, on more. I played Klonoa 2, not Klonoa 1. I don't yeah. know anything about this fucking game. Woohoo! Got a Zelda container. Yeah! Hot <laughs> Now we're going on a minigame! Is it? Yep. Ooh. Woo! 
<laughs> it's like Mario Party. Yeah, but oh, I'm not spinning you my broke your own cart. Oh shit! I guess I'm done. Hey, this is a callback to what you're currently playing. Donkey Kong Country. Mm. Oh yeah. A is there any bit. point to this? Uh, I guess not. I have to get the jewels. It's just a fun little moment. Relax. This is a really good game, though. It's really good. Do you I have promise. a time limit? What's the, what up with the clocks? I actually don't know. He's popping bubbles and Flowers gotta go. eating clocks. It's like early form Kirby, but you just do this. You, you use him to attack and to throw shit. Wait, now his voice sounds like crystal clear and like good. I Maybe mean, they re recorded they, some they shit. They used the cutscenes, they kept the original cutscenes. I think they just re remastered everything. Oh. oh. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? It's a puzzle piece to save all the millionaires. You remember? <laughs> <laughs> so we're supposed to be saving. The millionaires. So yeah, the millionaires. There's a door. And There's a door down Editor there. Uses, show a shot of the uh, him playing a cello. <laughs> you you know what I was talking about. Okay. <laughs> you can ride that. Fuck is this? No, you I can hit your ride on it. Can you? Well, well, murder. Corey. I'm not gonna ride him. He's, he's an enemy. He's the an enemy. The game told you to do it specifically. That's what the fucking game told me to do. I think it told you to ride on him. Corey, I don't think you give a fuck about Klonoa. I play video games how I play video games. I play video games. I play video games. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to go. The tutorial literally told you to ride that guy. Did he? The big one? Yeah. Well, he's dead. We'll go out and back in, see if he comes back. Fine. I like how I can carry him out. Okay, don't murder him. It is weird that they put a thing there to murder him with. Yeah, go go up and like grab him from the back. What? Okay, maybe not. Maybe it did tell you to murder him. Oh. Maybe well, I, I no, I know what I do. I jump on him probably, and he's a bouncy ball. That's probably exactly it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't even know if I need to go in here. It showed Cloaca on his back. Because I can go up here. That's probably just a thing to get probably more a shit. Probably secret. The music's quite nice. You gotta remember, like, there's, like, choke points that aren't probably necessary. You're just trying to beat I call the... my dick a choke point. Yeah, okay, no, I do need to go this way. Corey, remember that time you spit up milk when I said, do you know the way? <laughs> yeah. And then you used the, brought the picture up to the meme to keep me laughing. <laughs> you were just burping, spitting up milk, like, for an hour. <laughs> and it showed, it showed a deep fake of somebody who made knuckles in fucking like the uh, made knuckles in tally, <laughs> made a really ugly knuckles in tally. We can use Dolly to do that. Yeah, we can do a uh, guy sitting at computer uh, as knuckles, looking sad, yeah, <laughs> creating see. images of knuckles, the kid on a computer. <laughs> I want to see that. Yeah, let me let me see the way meme. I haven't heard that fucking thing. You know the creator of that meme. Uh, he saw that and he's like, I'm gonna capitalize on it, and he fucking sold shirts and made millions, so, uh... Good for him. That's what you do, you capitalize on it when the internet makes fun of things. If you don't do it, someone else will. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're foolish not to. If you didn't do woe shirts, you know who would have been making all the money for the woe shirts? What are the woe Naughty shirts? Naughty dog. Yeah, exactly. Did I come in through here? Corey, why don't you just mine those jewels and make millions? Are you stupid? Oh, I need to hit this thing. Throw a guy at it. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's just gems. That was not worth it. All that work you put in. I'm supposed to just collect the gems. You think? I like how their balls inflate and shoot spikes. That's so cute. So do mine. Ah! I was, I was itching my nose! La, that's so real. Like, when, when you get, like, a kidney stone, it's, it's, it feels like you're passing a spike. Honestly, you know? honest question, have you huh? ever had a kidney stone? No. No, I don't drink soda. But I'm gonna give it to myself it? eventually. Do you get that from it? Uh, yeah. You can get them from a bunch of stuff, really. It's calcium, it's a lot of things. It's, it's calcium. It's calcium. And you know what? I've been fucking... I've had this, like, fucking stomach acid bullshit, so I've been, like, eating a bunch of Tums, and I know that the day will come when it's like, I'm just gonna pee out a spike. It's gonna uh, really? happen. Really? I saw this thing, which is like, I don't know, it's like human bo I forget what it's called. We talked about it at one point. Um, it, It's like this person who shows off... It's on YouTube. It's a, like a learning channel where you learn about the human body. Huh. And he showed off all the type of kidney stones you get. And I swear, some of them look like the fucking go the everlasting gobstoppers from Willy Wonka. <laughs> like, only shards of spikes. Yeah. It's really fucking scary. I need to go this way. You know what I'm starting to believe? Yeah. That, you know when Caveman had a life expectancy of like 25 or 30? 
Yeah. That's like what we that's that should still be the case. There's no fucking way we're supposed to last any longer because our bodies just start falling apart horribly Fucker. from 30 onward. Cause I like got that back problem and then I, I like I spent a year fixing it and as soon as I fixed it, my neck started doing the exact same thing. It's just gonna keep happening and it's miserable. Dude, you're you're fucked. It's, it's bullshit! When you're old, your body and everything else falls apart. Literally, across. I fixed my lower back by like physiotherapy and now I've got a, another disc coming out of my neck. Dude, that sucks. Everything fucking sucks. You sure you don't have early and forms get of scoliosis? Stones? Like you're supposed to just die when you're 30 and that's it. Some people have it inherently, like- I know! Okay, this is what you wanted to see, Chris. We're gonna finally meet the diva. <laughs> this is what we were working for. We were climbing the hill to meet the diva. That does not look like no That's diva. That's not no diva. <laughs> Indeed, it is the diva, Lefarsi. That is the diva. That's oh, the is diva. Her. That's well, the diva. Well done, Joker. I'm She's honored. always standing on the rock that looks like her own face. You get what you fucking That's deserve. That's pretty narcissistic, <laughs> blue ball. I always love characters in games uh -huh. who are like they're ultra human perspective, but they're like in a world with like these weird little like monsters. Like Kirby right back at you had this kind of shit. <laughs> the fucking audio is like yeah. crunched in two forty feet. He's talking into a talk box, so he doesn't want her to sing because look at him. That design is, he is a cool. Pharaoh? I like all these designs. Joke? You joke? <laughs> joke? <laughs> What's up, my joker? This really does sound the audio like the audio from the. Are they fucking... speaking Japanese? I hope. No, I think they're just talking. When uh, when I was a kid, I I had that game Yoshi what? Story, and mm -hmm. they're just constantly going like bah! and shit like that. Yeah. And my mom was like, I think they're speaking Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, the guy who did the Yoshi voice was like an old, old. Like businessman who did Yoshi, because if you slow it down, he's like, wah ho! <laughs> really? Yeah, it's an actual like old man doing it. Wow. Wait, really? So they sped it up to get that sound? Yeah, probably some underpaid. So there's intern. there's like some old Japanese guy going, we. He have does all the Yoshi sounds. He's like, huh, ya ho! He kidnapped Diva. He's the bad guy. Okay, Chris, get the story, and that's Joker. Now I get it. Uh, Come out, my be. little mices. I think this is a boss fight. That's the Philadelphia bell. If the first boss fight is little mices, <laughs> I'm gonna hurl. Two Why can't I just mice. turn my necklace and like turn him into a bubble? Who are you people anyway? Kids these days. Hmm, tails on his little toe. I thought we turned off Bloom. Well, you've got no choice. I think choice. that's a part of the background. Nope, that's Bloom. This could be a cutscene specific thing. Mm. The cutscene looks like it's the gameplay though. That's what happens in those jars after you finish. <laughs> the, the cum jars? They turn yeah. into like weird pineapple monsters? That used to monsters. be an Asuka figure and now Ew. it's that. <laughs> Alright, I think I have an idea of what I'm supposed to do. You're gonna run around the circle and get behind it? Yep. yep. Corey's going for a run. <laughs> He's always going for a run. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh, Corey, is it Jesus. true what they say about the flange? Oh, uh, what do they say? Yeah, what do they say? Uh, they don't shave their... About the French? Uh, tits. They get their tits out on the beach. It is true what they say. You ever French walk people in are on, fucking hairy. You ever walk into the bathroom and see your dad's tits out on the beach? Uh, no, not my dad. <laughs> Who? Everybody thinks my dad is Freddie Mercury because, like, it was a sleepy cabin joke. He does look like him a bit. Looks nothing like him. He looks like David Hasselhoff. <laughs> even better <laughs> oh you beat him good job yay i beat the vision oh. jesus Corey. oh my god <laughs> that was violent so to do that to him. i didn't put the explosion inside of him yes you did i want to talk about a youtube channel i've been watching i showed chris it a little bit uh, uh it's called how to beat <laughs> and it's it's fucking brilliant because it's like this it guy is the shit out it's of me. so funny it's like this filipino man and no offense to he might be filipino or korean i don't know but he, he does a lot of like b, mo b korean movies like he did one about werewolf and like um 
he did like Final Destination and stuff. And what he does is he goes through the movies and he like plays a part where it's like a death game, right? Like he'll review a death game and the death game is like, you have to press a button over molten lava. And he's like, this person was an idiot. Here's what I would have done. And he like explains what he would have done in the situation. But in that situation, like, I don't think you have the brain capacity when like, if you're like hot wired to something, like if you're in a saw trap and it's like hit all the switches before you burn alive, you're not gonna have your like your fight or flight is gonna kick in and the first thing you're gonna do is like fucking freak out and you're just gonna die immediately yeah. but it's like obviously someone who's observing it at any rate i have a bad feeling about the <laughs> jadius girl who was kidnapped <laughs> either, either way, way this is far too much for us to handle i don't like this I'm holding my necklace So now we're going to Four Life Forest to help. Okay, Chris, here's a story. Diva was kidnapped. She's just Princess Peach. The evil man is Bowser, and I have to stop her and go through the, the Frolicking Forest to save her, and we're in the Moon King right now. Is it Wait, really so called Frolicking are, Forest? That's what it said, are you, I think. Are you trying to say that you're Mario, Corey? That's basically the you're plot of this to... story. Corey, okay. out of all the Mario characters, you're probably <laughs> yeah, just Mario. like the fireball. I'm the probably Mario. Yeah, you're, you're no Mario, my friend. Yeah. If I was a Mario character, who would I be? You would literally be like, uh... If I'm a fireball, whatever, I'm killing enemies, so more beneficial than fucking Toad, just running up to enemies and dying. You're the, the street slab pavement in, like, New Donk City. <laughs> yeah, you are the... You are what Mario walks on. You, you are not Mario. I'm beneath Mario's feet. I'm not even allowed to be a character. That'd be like... That'd Fine, be Chris. Like... Chris, you what you are? What? You're the button on Mario's fucking overalls. That's what you are. At least I'm part of Mario. Yeah, exactly. At least I'm running better. around with Mario and looking yeah, up at him. You're, you're against the fat, sweaty <sighs> Italian. That's all you deal with. Corey, I've never seen him sweat, what, ever. What you just did? Bullshit. He has just nipples, did. so he definitely sweats. <laughs> Corey, what you just did would be the equivalent of someone looking at, like... American history and being like, if I was in American history, if I was in American I'd be history George Washington. X, I would be, <laughs> if I was in American history X, I'd be stomping on Mario's head. <laughs> oh, oh, spooky forest, I guess. Oh. The old familiar treading no. grounds of Cloaca. <laughs> It'll never not be funny. So, uh, I want to talk about Klonoa only because I have a very vague experience with it. And because we're playing it is also a pretty good reason. <laughs> yeah. Also, also valid, but I played Klonoa 2, actually. The story is my dad was dating this... Babe. This fucking hunk of a woman, if I can say that. Actually, I don't even think she was... She was just like a mom. Maybe she'd be attractive now, I don't remember. I can't, I can't like, picture what she once looked like, but she had a son. And, uh, he had... He had Klonoa. And I'm I, sorry. How long did they give him? No, no. He only <laughs> he only had like two games. He had just gotten a PlayStation Two, and he had two games. He had Klonoa and uh, Chrono Cross. And Chrono Cross is a really good game. That's another one of those RPGs that, like, they're really long. And I don't know if it'd be too fun to play, but I love it. I just think it'd be like a really long game in general. But um. So that's why I remember Klonoa is because it was the only fucking game. Anytime I visited, I'd just be like, can I play Klonoa 2 and Chrono Cross? And at some point he was just like, he knew I wanted to play it. So he'd just be like, you can play it. I didn't have to say it. He was like, he already could read my mind. I'm like, okay, cool. Because at some point you feel awkward when you go, like, I don't know if you guys went to your friend's house and you only really go there because you want to play one game. <laughs> that's what it was kind of like. I would visit the guy, well, my dad would go, but to get his girlfriend. asshole wet. That's yeah. like something I haven't even thought about for years. That's definitely something I've done. Yeah, just like hang out with people just because you wanted to fucking <laughs> yeah, to play the them. game. <laughs> yeah, use them. Chris, tell me about how you used your friends and like manipulated them and gaslit them uh, when you were a kid. Uh, I used to use one of my friends. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. I used to go over to his house, use his internet to upload shit. Because my internet was so bad. Oh. But he knew it. He was cool with it. I used to go to my friend's house to like also like download CDs and shit. Oh yeah, that too. I, I used to be like, Music. hey, I need you to download Final Fantasy movie. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the Advent Children or whatever it's called. Yeah. Oh man, when that movie came out, all I wanted in the fucking <laughs> world was to see it, and just the the universe was against me. It just wouldn't happen. You wouldn't download it? There wasn't enough seeds. No, my my internet sucked. I only had one friend that would do it, and and I think he like went on holiday at the time. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't gonna be back for it. I was like, God damn it! And then my other friend was like, I'll I'll meet uh, your uh, your friend after school. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
he wanted to meet with my friend after school, my other friend after school, to give him a, a hard drive or a memory stick with the movie he downloaded on it, Final Fantasy Advent Children. And then uh, my friend just was a fucking asshole, and he just didn't wait. He just he just went home because he he was like a minute late or something. So I had to wait like another few months to see it. That sucks. I was so fucking mad. I remember I used to just be able to watch movies at any point that were like popular and out. I don't know how. It's just like I remember <laughs> Shaun of the Dead just came out, and I obviously wasn't able to see it in theaters because at the time, like, you yeah. just can't see stuff. Like I didn't have a car. I literally had dial up until I was like. Fucking thirteen or 14? yeah, me too. I got I got high speed like way late. Yeah, but, but our high speed was one megabyte. But Dylan would like Dylan would show up and these like these like homebrew DVDs and be like, I got Shaun of the Dead. I'd be like, <laughs> sick, dude, and then we just Woo! watch it. So I could watch like any movie. I remember watching like they actually had these movies, but they had like Hellraiser and stuff. Yeah. And I remember uh, a horror movie that scared the fuck out of me when I was a kid. What was it, dude? What was it? Candyman. Oh. Uh. Candyman and um. Uh, Freddy Cougar, but I think I talked about how Freddy Cougar the only reason I was scared of Freddy Cougar is because I thought he could really kill me in my nightmare mm. I didn't know he was like an actor. I was a dumb kid. I had a but, friend who thought the Candyman was real dude, I remember Candyman hearing about is that. scary because if you say his name, it's like you, you wouldn't think it would do anything but like He cut the you know the bejesus lower, out the, Yeah, he cut the lower end of a, a fucking kid and I was a kid so I'm like that's me I'm not age fuck this that scared the hell out of- I didn't say that when I was a kid, <laughs> You killed him! Fuck mean, you, Klonoa! I didn't mean to. Klonoa sucks, he needs to get some better flight. Yeah, hmm. I remember uh, one time I had a friend that burned a bunch of, like, CDs and shit for me. Like, yeah. a bunch of, like, Disturbed and shit like that, huh. that he had on his iPod or whatever. Or you just, wire, right? Or, or you was had it fucking... Frostwire? No, no, he had, he had bought it, but he, he just- I gave him a bunch- he was like, Oh yeah, if you give me some CDRs, I'll burn them for you. Yeah. And uh, he he like burned them, and I did get them, but uh, his dad got like really really mad at him for doing Fucker. that. He was like, "That is stealing." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it is. is. Right. It is stealing, but who would have thought? In a few years from now, the streaming service would fucking steal certain fucking DVDs and force you to pay like thirty dollars for each streaming service to watch each individual movie. <laughs> this guy has a fucking great design. I know. <laughs> Whoever put him together just oh. fucking hated him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like a Sid monstrosity. It He's is, like, it's, yeah. a, it's like a, a nutcracker on a fucking... No. On a little Sonic body. Look at his shoes. It's like Tails' shoes. He's kind of cool. That's a soldier? Yeah. That goes I hate to, to say war. What's in the water. If your country is under threat, that's what's protecting you, Corey. I mean, I would, I would put my life in the hands of a fucking Hugh Pal with his claws. Oh, Hugh Pals the ball. I gotta say, I love their little voices when they're talking. It's really cute. I love it too. Sound like you said, shut up. You said, fuck you. Fuck you! Uh, <sighs> being told to go fuck myself again. <laughs> we thought Granny could restore our king somehow. So we need to find Granny. We had Grandpa. Granny is who we need to find. I think Granny might be the one who got kidnapped. No, that was the diva. But she had like long... Dog Dude. ears. Uh. Was she old? Was she an old diva? I don't know. Granny might just be like a, like a term. He's like got a, a name. Pac-Man thing on his head. Might not actually be. Didn't, didn't fucking Namco make this game? Did they? Well, that makes pretty sense. Pretty sure they did. Didn't they? I'm pretty sure Namco made this game. I, I mean, he, yeah. If he's got a Pac-Man on his hat, probably. It looks like Pac-Man. Like that thing looks I like something. I think that might be Pac-Man or Homer. Editor enhance. <laughs> Yeah, see, those are the those are the Milwaukee's, and those are the don't say it. Crumbledons. acorn heads, <laughs> Crumbledons. Yeah, like, I like that fucking baby face in the That's sun. That's Valhalla. <laughs> That's where I go when I die. Safe if you free. die in war, yes. So this I, is the I'll first chapter. Lyle, we're going to die in war. That's a wishful it's thinking. It's going to happen. I'm not ready for war. You dang straight, you're not. Well, you keep saying you got them bone spurs. <laughs> Damn bone spurs. What's a bone spur? Well, I'll explain. This mimosa generation can't handle mugmosas. Mugmosas. They can't handle war. And you know what? I'm right there with you, pal. I can't handle it either. Uh, I would be like, I can't draw porn. <laughs> and then I would get beaten by soap. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta climb the rock mountain. You would get beaten by soap. 
I would. <laughs> Did the Swiss make the army knife? They had to have. Otherwise, they couldn't Think call it, it that. Like French fries or the hamburger. Actually, French fries was made in Spain. Fuck you. <laughs> or the Irish potato famine. Yeah. That was actually... That, that okay. was in Milwaukee. You, yeah. <laughs> you might not know this, but the Irish potato famine was actually in Idaho. Are you for real? For real. I Check thought this whole time... <laughs> it was in Ireland. Why would they do that? Historical revisionism is a bitch, man. Irish people lying again? These buttons... I could never fathom. <laughs> these buttons are getting stuck. Somebody came in between them because, like, the A button isn't popping up like it normally does. Lenore. I enjoy this game, even though I'm just, like, sort of playing and talking. I just, you know, I'm... That's I, the premise of the show. I don't know show. how to pay attention. My brain can only move so fast. I mean, you're jumping on rocks. I like going quick. Going really quickly. Ah! Guys, it. did you know that Let's Playing was a dying medium? Did you know that? But we saved it. Yeah, Let's Playing we, wasn't we made really it cool. that... Let's Playing wasn't really that popular. I, I, we I thought, created Let's Plays. Yeah, if and we can kill us, it whenever we want. Yeah. Guys, think about it. Be think curious, about you it. You need to be more nice to me. <laughs> no! God, you're, you're just not good at that. I I'm mean, not grasping the concept here. I, I don't I'm know how many more I'm times stupid. I can say I meant it. to jump, but I screwed it up. I wish this game had a more Bubsy aesthetic. There we go, I got you it. Know? I think that everybody says that about every game nowadays. <laughs> the Bubsy aesthetic? Uh, it's got like this like wonder aesthetic. It's beautiful. It's we never cool. got that got far in Sparkster, but there's like a Sparkster level that this reminds me of. You really? played Sparkster, I played... Um, I played uh, the Rocket one. We are not the same. Yeah, okay, just say it. What is it called? Rocket Knight Adventure? Yes! Oh, yeah. That game's awesome. That is a fun-ass fucking game. I never played Sparkster, but I played Rocket Knight Adventure. And I, I never played Rocket Knight. The worst Knight. part about Rocket Knight Adventure is as a kid, when I beat it on normal, the game is like, good job, now beat it on hard and get the real ending. And yeah, I'm like, I don't want to play that it. Too. I'm like, I don't want to play this game anymore. This is fun. I like skating on stuff. I do too. Oh no! These shields are freaking scary. You know what this shit looks like? I feel like these are like designs from like Wario Land or Wario World from like GameCube. Like they have all these weird. Oh, yeah. Fucking like realistic designs, but with like human shit. It's they remind creepy. me of Digimon a little bit. They kind of do too. I always yeah. wanted that Wario game. I don't know why I never got it. Which one? The Wario. Uh, really? The GameCube one? Yeah, or the, the GameCube the, one. The game, I, I had one of the Game Boy Advance ones. Those ones were good. And I got the GameCube one. And I, I the it, it was okay. One. The Game Boy one was sick. The one for Wii that was like hand painted frame by frame pixel art that was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, like had a stupid shake gimmick that totally ruined it. Ah. And I never could beat it because it just hurt my hand after a while. That's really cute. That Small looks like a fish. Pokemon. That could like totally be a Pokemon. That could totally be a card worth thirteen dollars. That could be like Mew Four. <laughs> Fire a wind bullet. What? That's you part of Pokemon B, lore, you know. Fuckhead. Oh, do I do it forward? There you go. I didn't know you could shoot forward. What the hell? Small fish. Small fish. How's is that saved. fucking small? It's bigger <laughs> it's than you are. It's fucking massive. Everything talks. Car, you ever hear of Pikachu? Yeah. You ever hear of Pika 2? I heard of Pika Blue. What about Pika 3? I, I kind of want to talk about Pokemon. Uh, I kind of want to break away. And Can you're... you see my mommy? <laughs> I want my mommy. I want mama. It was her name Carla or Carl? I think his name is Carl. I think her yeah, name it's Clonoa. Carol. It's Carol. It's not Carl at all. This game is a nice adventure through a nice world. It's Look very at that, pleasant. you're going, it's like Mario Sunshine. It's like Mario's oh. urethra. Mario. <laughs> Get out of there. Oh, it stings. They have a really beautiful locales. Right here. Oh. <laughs> God. Uh, he's cool. You know, what, you know what these Peaky designs the look Viking. like? Tell me, Corey. These looks like something you could draw in fucking Graffiti Kingdom. Oh. Which is another game I wish we played. That like, game's awesome. This is like real-time shadows now. <laughs> yeah, that's Excuse the me. remaster at work. This Ew. is the ray tracing His at name's work. His Seed Off. If, you, if you're gonna burp like that, at least cover your dick. I bulged. He's Seed Off Wattler. Oh, she made it made her evil. That's uh, her huh. evil mom. It's cute. Your mother. Hey, that looks sick. Boss fight. A simple yet elegant design. Wait, who's who's Pamela? It's that fish, the purple fish. I thought Seedoff was the purple fish. 
He's seed no, off? No, he's seed off. And the fish's name is Pamela? Uh, I oh think my so. god. That, make, that makes sense to me. <laughs> that looked actually painful. Yeah, I fucking hit her as she was coming in. She like scraped her fucking flank on that thing. Flank. I hate that little guy. He's kind of like Meta Knight, but... <laughs> <laughs> he is. Get back! I gotta say, I really like that they made Meta Knight like a weird Antonio Banderas Spaniard. <laughs> Did they do that? Yeah. And when? Yeah, and what? In the Kirby cartoon show. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're right! His voice! Yeah, he's just like, Kirby, suck my balls! That is true, he yeah. is like that, it's funny. I've never seen that show except for maybe like five seconds of it. It's not good, but they uh, they I'm gave bad. them fun voices. I, remember, I keep trying like, they to shoot made, it down, uh, but I need to throw it to the they side. They made Dedede sound like fucking Foghorn Leghorn. It wasn't even in Ireland. Yeah, he's though. like, get that dang there, Kirby! Really? Yeah, that is what he sounds like. And then he has like his like weird... He has this weird slug assistant who talks like this. Yeah, he's like, like a Squidward type dude. Yeah. And, and Kirby's just like the silent protagonist, right? He says Poyo a bunch. Really? It's yeah, it's like his little Pikachu thing. I did really bad. Oh, you're not gonna die, you know why? No, I am gonna die. Because I'm holding my hands up! Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you guys something. What is it? I recently went on a trend because I was interested after watching. You'll see it if you go to my favorites. There's like this like creepy video where it's like 3 a.m. challenge where like, you know, these people stay up till 3 a.m. and get bombarded by like Poppy Playtime monsters and stuff and they do really bad green screen. I think fucking Moist Critical did one about a guy, but like, it, it's basically like the 3 a.m. challenge. Have you ever seen any of those kinds of fucking videos? No. It's like a new breed of YouTube. Out with fucking Ella and Spider-Man, in with 3 a.m. videos with popular children horror games. Is like the idea that they're like trying to convince kids like, I really saw Freddy yes. Fazbear. Yes, it's full grown adults like us in our late 30s. Fucking or early 30s, let's not throw each other on the bus. But like, it's us in our 30s, as if we were like, you have like Freddy, Freddy Fazbear's on the phone, he's like, hey, I'm coming to kill you, and he's like, oh! And then they use like the Among Us, like, boom, sound effect. No. And they use and all they, that they shit. they say this happens if you stay up till 3 a.m. Till 3 a.m., yeah. Corey. Which I don't think is very true. What? I was gonna say, you should give that guy the shout out you showed me, the funny zoomer dude. Oh, oh, yes, it should. There's okay. If you got, uh, if you guys want to talk about, pe hold on. <laughs> I'll tell. I'll tell it after this cutscene. Is that what she used to look like? She looks nicer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, That's I like looking at old Facebook photos of somebody and being <laughs> That's like, the king. "Oh, she used to be so hot. What happened?" <laughs> I actually Weird think the original one was cuter. The pink one, the evil one. I think she looked better. Personally. Well, how old are you? Me? Yeah. I'm 30. Right, so since hitting 30, have you noticed, like, an extreme, like, rapid, uh, process of just seeing people around you, like, change their appearance really quickly? When you hit 30? Yeah. When, so, you're saying I look at them as a 30-year-old and their fucking body distorts and their no, mind melts? No, I'm saying that since I've turned 30, I've looked up people I've known and I've been ab absolutely shocked at how fast their appearance has changed in the last few years. I feel the like their faces years. always stay the same, but I, their bodies evolve. Yeah. I, I'm not saying this to throw you under the bus or anything, <laughs> but I've, I've genuinely never had the urge to like look up anybody that I used to know. Oh man, I do it. If I, I'm not I, keeping up with them I'm currently, not I like, remember I don't people like care. randomly, and I'll be like, I wonder what the hell's going I, there's on. There's no way I'm looking up people from like my previous school Why not? year because it they'll make me uncomfortable <laughs> to re to somehow be flooded back with memories of talking to certain people. Why is that bad? That's normal. because I haven't talked to them for so long, and it's just like when you see this person. And they're doing the same thing. Like I, I, I know what you're talking about because I remember seeing this one guy. He looks the, he looks completely different. He used to be like a little on the portly side. Yeah. He's totally fucking skinny, and he looks like a completely different person. Yeah. And when you see him, he has a career where he was. You thought he was gonna work on cars his whole life because it's like a shitty backwards water town. Yeah. But he doesn't do that. He works in an office building and like fucking, I don't know. He like. He builds certain things. He builds like certain plastics or something. <laughs> so he like made a name for himself, but that doesn't always happen. In fact, some of the people I used to know who were like rich and had like, you know, fuck you daddy money yeah. are now just like drug addicts who all they do is just like shoot heroin up and they don't even go on Facebook anymore yeah. because they're like, they're like worried about the world. So they're like in conspiracy theories and stuff. 
it's just it's scary it's, it's scary fascinating to, to me to, to like yeah if you have an idea of someone your whole life and you haven't checked in on them in like 10 years just to be like oh my god i wonder what they look like now yeah well they're completely different and they're on drugs sometimes 90% the, of the time. they're the same sometimes they're they're unbelievably like like gross looking when they used to be good looking and sometimes they've become like chads it's like fucking scary who's the who's the song who made the song um fly like a white guy does does knowing what it's called affect yes, the it, story it, it will help fly like a white girl white guy <laughs> to the sea <laughs> how do i not fly know white they were like a the famous future. like pop punk band pop punk uh maybe punk god damn it what is the I hate my memory. Oh, the, uh, that was an offspring. Yeah, the song? offsprings. Thank you. They have a song <laughs> exactly about what we're talking about, yeah. where it's like they go back through their senior year and like everyone they know, like some people are dead, some people died from like, you know, overdosing, some people are like hookers, and they just like sing songs about their friends are all fucked up, and it's like a really creepy, relatable song now. Because as a kid, I'm like, I don't get this at all. But now that I'm adult, I'm like, oh my god, it somehow predicted the future. I mean, that's just some universal human condition shit, I would assume. Yeah. No, I had a really weird... Uh, I had a really weird scenario happen where... I was really good friends with this dude in, like, middle school, early high school. Yeah. And then he just kind of, like... I, I don't know. Like, we, we just kind of stopped talking for a little bit. No particular reason. Mm -hmm. And he hit me up as an adult. Like, maybe, like... 23 24 mm -hmm. and I hadn't talked to this guy since he was like maybe like 12 or 13 like Like still like kind of a kid, but like getting into like teenager territory So I, I had like zero idea of what he would be like as an adult. Yeah, yeah. and I was kind of like Okay, like I'm, I'm interested What is this guy, you know turned into exactly mm -hmm. and it was really fucking weird cuz I hung out with him and he was doing the same shit he used to do as like a, a kid. Yeah. Like he used to do this thing where he used to just like look through my shit to like try to find like snacks and stuff. Oh, yeah. And he started doing that as uh, like a 20 something year old man. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? He, and he, he like, still has like that radial memory. Yeah, and he like, he like spilled his drink on my carpet and didn't fucking tell me. Oh my God. So like, I just found it after it had like turned into like a horrible stain. I was just like, I, I can't. I can't, I can't actually believe that I just hung out with literally the same exact dude in a bad way that I used to hang out with when I was like 13. It was so fucking strange. That is fucking strange. Okay, I watched the cutscene. They basically are gonna fuck with me and hide the key and I have to find it. You're gonna hide the key? Yeah, I have to find the one that has the key. Oh, thanks, dickface. You literally came out of nowhere. Ass biter. Well, people like that don't change because they're not surrounded by people. Yeah, they don't have like they, people. They who basically can help are them. content with being alone, and then they don't learn anything. I need to throw this on him. I remember that guy used to always like give me like weird talking twos whenever I'd say, <laughs> I don't know, like because I was, yeah, I, was kinda, need those. I was like. I, I was definitely like an angry kid, so I put out like some like school shooter vibes for sure. <laughs> but like that guy would that guy would like it. fucking like bitch me out for like saying I didn't give a shit about stuff and then he like turned into this weird socially maladjusted dude that acts like a giant twelve year old. So, <laughs> acts like a I don't giant know. twelve year old. I think everybody needs someone to be like, dude, why the fuck do you do this certain thing? It's not normal. <laughs> no, it and, isn't. and then you're offended for like a day, and then you get over it, you learn. He was right on like half of those looking back, but I feel like the other half, I was kind of still right. That's just life, baby. Yeah, man. Oh my god, it's fucking panties. I need to adjust them. Are your panties in a twist? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you learn how to pull up your pants, Why right? Why don't you learn how to fly? Corey does this thing where he pulls up his underwear and then ties them in a knot from behind. Yeah. Giving himself a sexual wedgie. So what happens when you lose like 800,000 pounds and you need like to... <laughs> you, you still want to wear the same pair of pants. So you uh, gotta tie them in six knots. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna say anything because I don't need you getting like, you know, a huge ego. But you, you actually do look really good right now, Corey. Yeah, oh, Corey. Like you've thank lost, you. like, Corey, noticeably since you're lost Armenian weight. Photo shoot, you've... <laughs> You look fucking beautiful. I had to quell that rumor, so when I toured, like, people wouldn't see this, like, big fat Armenian man almost breaking every stage he's on. <laughs> yeah, Corey, you know what? Let, let's take a picture of you right now to show everybody what, you, what you've changed into. Go ahead. Okay, there he is. 
<laughs> the man with everything. Corey, you look amazing. <laughs> Let me see it. How it turn out? That's a good picture. <laughs> My hair looks like fucking gross. No, you look cool. No, wait, I look like an asshole. <laughs> Don't say that. I do. No, you look like a, a well-groomed, well-kept individual. Well, thank you, but I disagree. I guess I'm allowed to do that. I'm not even joking. I had like a like a recent bout with severe diarrhea, and I oh lost like God. I lost like six pounds, bro. You lost weight Dude, from diarrhea? Yeah. The first water weight you get is like the biggest one. Oh. So when you like the whole thing with like weight is like. It, it, when you're losing weight, you're, you 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 feel like you're like, oh man, I can do this because you lose the first like bit of yeah, and you then lose you, it fast. You plateau and then you get but, like demotivated and you start eating like shit again. Yeah. it's like a, it's this cycle. I fucked up again. I'm an idiot. I spent my whole life chasing diets. Yeah, I tried and then doing. I always gain the weight back, and then you just gotta be like, you know what? I gotta stop God eating shit you all the time. You should spend your life chasing pussy, my friend. Yeah, because then you lose weight by fucking them. Yeah, and exactly. Out that's of your true. Dick. Sex. That's actually. Oh not my god, untrue. that's true. No, every time like you fuck, you burn like fifty thousand calories. That's the only reason I do it. What was I gonna say? People uh, only use seven percent of their brain. I know I do. Yeah, I, I use seven percent of my dick because if I use a hundred percent of it, uh, it hurts. I'll kill her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tickle her jaw. She well, snapping what were we talking half about? like as though I were We were, were talking Superman. about something before. Um, we're what? talking about tucking, taking a picture of yourself while tucking. Tucking. Tucking um, in my cock. Tucking. You've been talking about that sports team that you wanted to start called the Pink Sox. <laughs> Pink Sox? The new yeah. Corey Slammers. It, okay, honestly, if I was to do a sports, what would it be? If, if you I were was to, like, to do a sport. You should do... Personally, I think you'd be good at frisbee golf. Frisbee golf? That sounds like something I would say I would make up and then be like, you want to be That's a part real. of my frisbee golf team? Frisbee golf is cool because you get to throw what? a frisbee. Yeah. You're a liar. You're I'm a not troll. lying. You're uh, a troll, Mick Roll, dude. Lie? Would I lie? Kind of. <laughs> True. Which is false. It's a false statement. And I win. And you're all deleted. I'm gonna delete you from existence now. Hm. I'm Jonas your... Lyle's got a very JPEG-esque look about him. <laughs> What's that even mean? He's a bit funny looking. I'm a bit fuzzy on the edges. You got kind of a weird artifact. Yeah, your bit thing. rate's a little low, low. <laughs> You guys didn't have to call me out like that. I've got like a weird <laughs> bit rate thing going on. What does it even mean? It's more cinematic. <laughs> if you think about it, Kalno is just like a Sonic Fuck. fucking uh, rip off. Uh, mixed this with is like basically Mickey Mouse, just Green Forest. Mixed with a Springer Spaniel. Mixed with bullshit. Ah! He does kind of look like a composite of like three other characters. He looks like Sonic and Mickey Mouse and a dog. He looks like the, that Digimon, the, the green Digimon from season three. Nice. The green Digimon. Remember that little like Pikachu looking oh, Digimon? Yeah, yeah. With those floppy ears. Actually, people always ship him with tails. Really? Oh uh, yeah. The Digimon? No, Klonoa. Because <laughs> uh. tails can fly and he kinda looks like he's like furryish like a fox, but not really, he's like a dog. So people always make like stuff with Klonoa and Tails. Why? I don't know why though. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I you know, it's cute. I really would not want to see that. <laughs> You know what's That's weird? Like top three things. Um, <laughs> top three yeah, things. Go, go ahead. There was it's a point in my life fucking... where I, w I was absolutely 100% obsessed with Digimon. I was like, I was into it way more than I was Pokemon. It was like my favorite thing. Did you like the An Angelina Anaconda opening? Was she like? I didn't mind it. I was like, it was just like, I'm gonna see the Digimon movie, fellow nightmarish child heads. <laughs> but I, I think what happened uh, is in Ireland, it wasn't a big deal. No one cared about it. So the, the once it got phased out, it was gone, and there was no real way to watch it. I don't think there was what video sales or DVD sales. So it literally just got deleted out of my life, and there was no way for me to like watch or you know, enjoy I've, it anymore. So I think because of that, that's the reason why I didn't become a weird obsessed furry or something. What about Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, I never watched that. Me neither. I was like, what? It's about cards? This is... <laughs> well, I remember thinking Yu-Gi-Oh was cool very, very briefly. I like the theme song. My, I used to uh, watch the theme song and turn it off. My, my, Sorry, accident. My school... And I, I've learned that this wasn't a universal thing. It was just, for some reason, like, my school... Everyone just decided, like, after the first generation of Pokemon, yeah. everyone just decided Pokemon was for babies. And honestly, yes. like, the first everybody... generation is, like, the... Uh, honestly, I used to think, like, the first generation is the only Pokemon I like, but I, I do think, like, Gold generation and cool. one and four, I, I think, like, one, two, four were good. Cause that... I don't. I think one and two were good, and the rest is just annoying. Well... 
you have to think of it this way like the Pokemon games now, which I don't really... I can't fucking believe people still get hyped for Pokemon. It's the same game. It, that it's... Ar Ar what's it called? Arceus? We pl it is so unfucking believably bland and, and looks like shit. Dude, it's really... It's the most phoned-in crap, and I'm sick of people caring about Dude, Pokemon! It, it's really weird to me. Oh, fuck. I need people to... are like, oh, did you see the new drop for Generation 6? Oh, and it looks exactly the same. Yeah, it's... No innovation. It, it, they, they're completely phoning it in and treating you like chumps. It's literally the most profitable media franchise of all time. I... And then it's like, it's also... did you see yeah. that, that now you can like move around in the overworld? <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> it's like, it's the same exact thing as Generation 1, except on a 3D plane, nothing's improved. I want to say something. All the po- what? Go on. I mean, I never played Pokemon, but this is something I've wanted to say. I'm being really bad. Let me- let me- let me, like, figure this shit out, but... Um, uh -huh. I wanted to play the mm. new Pokemon game. Oh. Um, because everybody was saying that, but... Also, like, okay. I'll just- l let me prefix- is this the- is that the right term? Prefix? Yeah. Prefix. Prefix or prefix? Either. Oh, Prefix is technically grammatically correct. I, but... I wanted to play it. Oh, I gotta hold it! Fuck, oh. I'm an idiot. Okay, I wanted to play the new, uh, Pokemon game, and I'm like... This is the tweet I made. I'm just gonna- I keep, like, going off topic because my brain is shutting down. I'm like... I'm like, explain to me, like, every time I see a new Pokemon game, it looks the exact same as the previous one. Like, the new one looks exactly like the Sword and Shield one. And I'm like, I don't get the hype behind it. But I also said, like, explain to me how I don't get that, but I somehow understand, like, Sonic. Like, for me, Sonic is like, I'll play the same mediocre fucking series over and over and love every bit of it, but I won't enjoy Pokemon. And when I made that tweet, that got a ton of attention. But also, I noticed a lot of people were like, yeah, fuck Pokemon. And that was like the general consensus. But yet, this is the game that sells more than any other game ever. I just don't get it. People still play these games. Yeah. It's turned into like the Call of Duty of the Nintendo franchise, I mean, no, and people I complain it. and complain it's that it's for still children. Sells. It's for children, and so children would of course enjoy it. That's the point. I don't know. Po Pokemon fans are kind of perpetually like disappointed, no, and I. But get I'm it. saying like if <laughs> but, you're a kid, I, I completely understand if you'd enjoy it. But I'm talking about adults who obsess over it and they enjoy it. I don't think they even enjoy it. No, they complain, they hate it, they and it's the liked, best sold like, the game. They have like, the last four yeah, of them. Yeah, I know. All, all I see are Super Pokemon fans who are very critical of new Pokemon games, yet it's still, like, the number one selling Switch game of all time during then. They get pulled into the fucking hype for, like, a month. And, and I mean, and I get it. And they completely forget about it. I get it. it. I love anything Sonic-related, but, like, even then, I'm critical of the games. And if the game looks like shit, I'm not gonna play it. Like, the new... Sonic Colors game came out. I didn't even buy it because it looked like shit. D Dave ended up buying for me, bless his heart. <laughs> but I didn't never beat it because it was a piece of garbage. So I get it, but also I don't. Like I saw some screenshots from that new Pokemon game that look worse than fucking Dark Cloud on PS2. The new new one that's the coming out. No, the one Ar Arceus. Yeah, Arceus it, looks fucking it's, gross. But that it's one like sold awful. amazingly. It's, that one sold better than any other this previous Pokemon game. Here games. looks fifty times better yes, than it, it does. does. You know, you know the worst part is like that one is probably the best one they've put out in a very long that's time. That's insane because it's fucking dog shit. <laughs> I, it's yeah, not I wouldn't boring, say that it's game. good, but I uh, like the thing I it's get annoyed is like you can't even get attached to these fucking Pokemon because a new set of Pokemon is gonna come out. Like you can't even enjoy the trainer Pokemon. Like they have the the weed cat and all this other stuff. But then the next Pokemon's gonna come out and you're gonna have like a fucking plant frog and like a, like a fire toad again or some shit. Like it's not even a matter. Uh, yeah, I, th I think there is a problem that's introduced when they've hit so many of them. That now it's like, oh, if we want to have every single one, we have to make, like, a thousand models for the next game. And animations. Yeah. yeah, it's just ridiculous. But also, I've never played a single Pokemon game, so this malice is coming from a place <laughs> of... Wait, what? 